Watch. Welcome back to the Mixed Worlds Championships from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Paul Grant, Greg Gruya, Bob Lee with you. Just underway, Matty Kelly has the 6 7, three pieces of wood. Eric McWiggin on the left. For JD Seamless Gutterballs, Penny Lane on the right. I think we're, we got the pronunciation on that. I believe it's Eric McWiggin. Eric, Mc, Eric McWiggin. All right. It's a spare. All right. I was told McWiggin, it's McWiggin. Getting that name like Paul Grant, you spoiled. Knife from Maddie Kelly. That's my fault, bad prep. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on our marathon coverage from Academy Lanes. So, third match of 10. Bowling all day, bowling just about all day Sunday. Good to see you all for however long you can join us. Nine o'clock starts tomorrow morning, six broadcasts tomorrow. Maddie Kelly, nine. Oh. Wigan on the spare, six. 16 after one. Oh, those parallel pits. They, they last time they were in the uh, Mixed World Championships, they won. The older team, different name. Spare from Eddie Kelly, 19 the ball for June. Kevin Locke, the team. Team captain. The team won it in 2019. Penny Lane won it last year. So the last two title winners are here head to head. And the records are showing it. Penny Lane, perfect 14 and 0. JD, 12 and 2. Wigan, a 9. It's six, one ball six, to go. Six on his first one. Yep, six on his first one. He gets a 10, 26 through 2. Early 7 pin lead for JD's seamless gutters. I just call him JD's gutters. Sonia Rossi. For Penny Lane. Head pin in has the 3 6 10 and the 4 to the left. Brooke Anton Betteridge. Triangle right side, the 6 9 and 10, 4 to the left. Three pieces of wood. Brooke for Sacco Maine, originally from Biddeford, Maine. Sonia goes wide right, three to three. Sonia Rossi from Rutland, Mass. Brooke is open. Sonia 107 average, high single 175, high triple 435. Pulls out of Bayberry Bowling Lanes, Spencer Mass. Nine to start. Brooke Betteridge, nice 10 to start. 36 to 28, eight pin lead. For JD's seamless gutter balls with a spare on the board for Penny Lane. He got pulled to Maddie Kelly. Sonia's uh, high single 175, high triple 435, 107 league bowler, pack of five. Brook, head pin hit, nine. Brook's high single 191, high triple 447, high five, 725. Rossi's open. Brook balls on the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Here's the wood. Cool shot there. Spare to start. Tapped it off the tip of the queue. Sonia, seven, 16 through two. Remember, it's a round robin format. 21 matches between these 22 teams. Most wins, wins. Simple as that. Two points for a win, one for tie, nothing for a loss. Third ball is here. Evan Riva, R I V I A. Browns Riva. And Stone of Mass, 117 average, high single 193 on lane 34 for Penny Lane. Of course, been one, two, four, and seven. They go about 36%. The pro balls going to spread the production stats without wood. Melissa Sinton has the uh, Calary rather, but about 20%. Oh, yes. Riva with a spare. 10 of the ball. That seven was late to fall, pinwheeling wood across the plate, got it. Melissa Sinton has the eight and the 10. Good luck on this one. 26 year old Melissa Sinton, a field goal, eight after one. Thank you to all 26 of you watching right now. Don't forget to like and share the video so that more people have the pleasure to watch this premier tournament. Catch your rebroadcast later tonight or tomorrow on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Spread Eagle Productions, hit subscribe, it's free. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Five, we're on the bonus, eight, 18 after one. As the two and the five, Melissa, head pin, no split now. As the three, six, and 10, these go about 
point of spreading books and stats for Pro Bowl, it's not wood. This tournament, Evan Riva had a 146 or 148 earlier, and his tournament average 131. He knows how to ball in clutch situations. And he gets another one right on cue. 28 through 2. Scare ain't scare. Melissa punched out. He and Maddie Kelly both, they're going to put mixed doubles competitions out of business. <laughs> Evans high five, 797, high 10 of 1407. High single again, 193, high triple 497. Melissa Simpson a 10, 18 through 2. So two marks, three marks on the board. I uh, correction, two marks on the board for Penny Lane. The only undefeated team left. Coca Cola defeated Stars and Strikes last match. The ball six and one coming in. Greg will give us the update on Harry, Harry Harry's All Stars on them. Update them, Greg. Harry's All Stars. They were six. And, yeah, they, they were five and one after the first match today. They, they won their they won their last match. They they won lost. Bob says they won the last match. In that case, twelve and two. They're hot as well. Here's Tim Matero. Future Hall of Famer here at 50 years old, 1934. Calvin Locke. They both uh, try out some Ripley Act podcast. Ripley Act podcast. Calvin from the North, Canada. The jokester of the three, the biggest jokester of the three. What do you know? We They're do all, have podcast buddies. How about that? That's right. Tim and two one split us the three, six, and the seven. Calvin three. There was some lineup shuffling. I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> there, was, there was trash talking. Uh, oh! oh! Sorry, I'm terrible. I thought he had it. Shot us in front of the seven. They were trash talking the podcast, you know, and they can outdo each other. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I want to tune in for the next episode. I'll tell you that much. Utero at 10. Tim from Rockland, Maine, originally from Norway, Maine. Home of uh, Mark Hollywood Smith, Norway, Maine. Eight for Calvin Locke. Ripping the Rack podcast is on YouTube and, of course, and all the usual suspects for obtaining podcasts. How about the new Caleb and Corner also in the Approach podcast also available? On Twitch. Jeremy C. on Danny Finn hosts that. Jordan Britton, Corey Lisi hosts Caleb and Corner. Tim Matero, second box. Most left, he gets four. One of the recent interview subjects was uh, Paul Grant. Eight. Calvin Locke has the four and the eight. Calvin's average 118, career high 127. Two of four high single, Matero's open. Just to spare. Calvin has a can of the record, 514 high triple. Also has a high five of 770, high 10 of 1410. Only to the Moncton in Canada, New Brunswick. Matero, nice shot. Two tens, 20 through two. Calvin, a 10, 18 through two. That was a crazy two and one split. Pity it only counts for one more pin. Ragging Rice, Tim Matero, head to head with Calvin Locke. Broadcast buddies, podcast buddies, 2018. Calvin Bowling since 1995. Only got him interested in bowling. Ankle is Jimbo Ayotte for Penny Lane. The only undefeated team left. Dave Goblin. Mike Dave McGinty Goblin. getting a rest in this one. Mike McGinty uh, getting a rest in this. Imagine having that, that choice on your uh, on your substitution list. So no McGinty magic in this match. Dave Goblin, 32 years old. Methuen Mass on lane 33. Half was to right for Jim Boyot. Goblin goes left, has the 1, 3, 6, and 7. Average of 120. Check out this high single. Two. 35. Just Tim behind the record of 245 by Ralph Sem and Chris Sargent. His high triple is 486. High five, check this out, 784. Jimbo for a spare almost. And Dave Goblin's high 10 is 1414. For a spare, yes! Great shot to start. 10 of the ball. He's today's home lanes, Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. These pins are flying to the corners. You can just tell how they're such high caliber teams. Jimbo at 10 to start. Great battle here. The last two champions head to head here. Eighth match of 21. Third of 10 today, six more tomorrow. Starting at 9 a.m. at Bowling Nerd Network. Great throwing start here. To say the least, I mean, make or miss, they're always at least close to their shot. Stick around for this one, folks. Please share the video. This is a barn burner. It's on Canada Chip right there. Oh, AI. At four. And the Canada team is teasing him. They're not singing songs this time, at least not yet. In the bonus. 
Dave Godwin working a spare on lane 33. The fireballer in the pocket. Eight, nine, three pin left up. 19 after one. Huge fill. Average spare fill is about six. six hey, nine. Nine Off shooters. the head pin. Be a lot of trash talking here. Godwin trying for two in a row. Missed it. At 40 miles per hour. 40. Dave Godwin tournament averages 115. And a half. 10 for Jim Layout, two tens, 20 through two. He's from Lemston, New Hampshire. High average for his career is 128, averaging 119 right now with a 205 high single, high triple of 473. Back to the top of the order, Manny Kelly to the left. Manny had a spare for Penny Lane. Eric McGuigan for JD Seamless Gutterballs. 26 to 2. Open. Makes the split as the 2 and the 4. 51% chance to convert. Eric Kelly in the bonus. Five. Matching Eric, both throwing 36 miles an hour. Maddie Kelly knows how to bring it. 24 through 2. McGuigan missed it. Oh, and Sherry picked it. It looks so it looks so easy, doesn't it? The only goal just over 50%. Hard to oh, believe. But a single would be 80%. That's one of the reasons why. Maddie nearly got a bounce back on that, but the wood didn't quite take the six out. McGuigan a nine. Eric's a 35 through three. Early lead for JD Gutters. 10 for Maddie Kelly. Good pinning 34 through three. McGuigan's tournament average right now is 126 and a half. Unreal. Some bowlers know to step it up. Some bowlers are new to this. It's new for them. It's going to be an adjustment for them. And it's great experience for the young bowlers. Nice ball. Nine. That was almost a seamless strike. Maddie Kelly with a strike. Pumps her fist. 44 plus 2, a second mark. 9, spare, 10, strike for Maddie Kelly. Eric matches. Eric, 46 in the ball, a second mark, and a spare 6 in the first. Thrilling start here at Academy Lanes in Averill, the Mixed World Championships, home of this year's World Championships. On week of Veterans Day here at Academy Lanes, Averill, Mass. on Route 125. Brand new bar. Restaurant just opened up uh, yesterday, so very, very beautiful looking, very spacious. Check it out here at Academy Lane Table Mass Route 125. Is that your Welcome. spear? Do we have a substitution? Is that Mario Johnson? Yep, that was That's Mario. Yeah, we have a substitution on, on Benny Lane. A new substitution. You can do it through the first, first five boxes. Yeah. Mario gets nine, so she's taking Brooke, uh, Brooke Redditch's place. So Brooke, Brooke was in the bonus, though, so Brooke, Brooke picked up nine in her. Make sure, make sure. Her from the second. It's 29 through two. And a spare again. Now Brooke is up there still. So sorry, Brooke is up there now. So two spares. That's a 10, it says there. That's a mistake. Mario, a spare. That's it now. 26 now. In the ball. She's taking Sonia's place, actually. Brooke. Hey, Mario. On the bonus, seven, the one, two, nine, and ten. It says Sonia on the screen, but it's Mario Johnson taking a place after those two boxes. I just changed it on our screen. Okay. Brooke, nice try, almost. Spare five, these are 44. <coughs> Three. Mario, good try on both. Just missed the nine. What a try. Those inner pins are always the confounding ones on leaves like that. Brooke Betteridge. <coughs> a nine. Strong start, 53. Back on the game. Actually, just 105 this year, but only bowled one league once a week. I tried to kid this over two and a half years ago. With Kovic, who wasn't bowling much, trying to get back up there. Both the Amanda Carroll, the women's doubles event, September 10th, extra lanes. 16th needed for September 10th, 10 a.m. shift. 
Right, scoreboard has been it's up to date now. Just Nine pin lead for JD Scudder. The name is not right. That's the only thing. Okay. All right. So let's see. Back to number three now. Yeah. Don't don't look up there. They're not. The viewer can't see that. Don't talk about that screen. Well, I have a nice ball, eh? On a spare. Nagging that eight. Two spare eights. Thirty-six through two. Melissa Sinton leads up the nine pin. 18 at first two. The device I'll play that wood. Check with Tim Matero. One pin match between these juggernauts. Try to kick it over. Oh, he got it! What a shot for his fair. He's got three in a row to start. 46 in the ball through three. Wow! Tenth from Melissa Sinton, 28 through three. It's loud in here. Never out of X to Lanes, X New Hampshire. It's a mean state title. It's remained originally. On the 2021 U.S. Invitational title, the price of wood flooring last year, won the Mixed Worlds in Mango, Maine. Also, in the basket. Seven drop from Melissa. Drive in the bonus. Eight, nine, ten, strike on spare. Four marks to start on fire. 56 through three. 66 plus two through four. Crazy. What did Evan Riva have for breakfast this morning? This man is uncontrollable. Unless to try and kick it over, it won't go. Good night, Melissa. 37 through 4. Here come the tra trash talking duo here Tim Matero and Calvin Locke. Calvin from Canada, Tim from Rockland, Maine. Tim Matero has a tournament average of 128. More like the old Tim Matero. I'm in disbelief seeing all these averages, but. I have the most notes more than anybody. I have nine, nine pages of notes for him alone. Nine pages of notes. Calvin Locke has the Caleri. 18 is first two. Tim Matero, lane 33, 20 through two. Close right. Does a bunch. Has the one, six, and seven. Calvin's open. He's at the eight pin. Calvin, three-time world champion, two-time provincial champion. Tim Matero Spare. Calvin's won four national championships and a 2019 mixed champion. Their first time back since 2019, the mixed worlds. It's a 10. 28 through 3. Tim Matero has a laundry list of accomplishments. 122 overall average. 133 is career high. Average 117 the Sunday Pro League. Once a month in Exeter. Pulled over 136 different times in league play for his career. High single of 215. Calvin gets five. Calvin's been throwing 38, 39 miles an hour. Tim, for his part, 36. That one was 38. He gets four. Tim's high single, 215. He said 210 twice. Also a 204 and a 203. So two, two 500 series, 502, 500. Calvin's open. His high five and even 800, 800 for five. His high 10, 14.59. He said seven 1400 scores in 10 swingers. Matero punched through on the DC special for Dave Chester Cove. He's got to get him out here. Tim Matero, Lisa, Tim Matero loves 10 swingers. They do a lot of those in Maine. He gets nine. Sensational out. Three out of four on the third ball. <laughs> Tim Matero, 43. A spare four game, 34 through three now, 43 through four. Calvin Locke, 37 after that nine watch before. Do right now, we're keeping an eye on the comments. Thank you, Eric. 
Sound off below. Please like the video if you like the video and comment if you like what you're seeing. How can you not like what you're seeing then again? Godwin hit pin for strike. That's a weeble. I'll go. Dave, 28 is here. Spare 9 of the 9. Jibo Ayot, 2 tens, 20 through 2. For Penny Lane in lane 33. The only undefeated team left. Spare for Goblin. 38 in the ball through 3. Second mark. Ooh, feel the breeze. Three bowlers for JD on two marks at least a piece. Penny Lane undefeated, 7-0, 6-1. For JD, seamless cut of balls. That's not, that's not a nine. Jimbo 29, solid pinning for three. Dave Godwin, three-time world championship winner. Again, a whopping 235 high single. Just 32 years old with doing mess. Jimbo Ayotte's home lanes, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. On the bonus, just three. 41 for three. Jimbo Triangle. Five to the right, two four to the left. Jimbo's grandparents come involved in his young to get bowling. He's a five-time Pro Series winner. Godwin's open with the two and the six. Two fold, too bad. Jimbo AI 2014-15 bowler of the year. Chuck Bazola's here. Chuck yeah. Mark Leans. Jimbo AI picks up for a spare. 39 in the ball through four. One carries, good shot. Nine for Dave Goblin, 50 through four. Chucky Bizzola, Central Park Lanes owner. How you doing, Chuck? Good, good. Tell us about your 200, how you get some 200 games yourself. What do you have for 200 scores? Uh, I got a 211 and a 205. Hey, you gotta, you gotta shut your place down tonight for the ACS team match tonight, so we can do it another time. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You don't have an announcer. I come up here to check this out, and then I'll go back. Maddie Kelly, nice ball, eight. Hey, anyone who wants to announce that game can, can 44 uh, through four, Eric McWeegan. On a spare, 45 plus 8, 53 through 4. Semifinals. Yeah, Andy for a spare, looks good. Oh, two full. Oh, now they're cheering that one. on the two pinner. All right. Get your wild shirt. If we get another one, second in the row, third in the string, 63 half plus one. Maddie Kelly, a 10, 63 half. We're bowling. We're bowling all day Saturday and Sunday, and if you're coming down to Academy Lanes on Sunday, don't forget to pick up your WOW t-shirt. How about today, too? That works, too, if you're here by any chance and watch the live stream. $25 supports a great cause, candle pits for cancer. Maddie Kelly, thin hair, look at this. Somehow I only got three out of that. That was a weird one. Don't see that too often. Weekend on the bonus. Rolling and rolling, gets six. Wood to help. Good piece of wood. Look at this, the three, seven, eight, and ten. Yeah, it's about one second touch each. Sixty-nine half. Good try by Maddie. Four, six, and ten. Maddie's average one nineteen, high single one eighty-three, high triple four twenty-six, high five six eighty-six, high ten eleven seventy-one. Twenty nineteen ICBA champion. And twenty twenty-one. Mixed national champion. She gets a nine, 72 through six. Eric McWeegan, seven, 76 through six. A pin lead for Penny Lane. Yeah, only undefeated team left. Mario Johnson filling for Sonya John at the two boxes. And a spare six in the third, 41 through four. Brooke Betteridge, 53 through four. And a spare nine, spare five, little two boxes. Mario, good hit, but these are the three and the six. Good try by Brooke, seven, eight, ten. Probably wanted to be on the inside of that, but again, that inner pin was gonna cause problems no matter what. Sweeps it for 10, 51 half. Oh, pretty shot for 10, that was nice. 63 half for Brooke, Anton Betteridge. Preserving every pin in that 63 half, well played. 
Oh, Betteridge with two spares. Mario Johnson, 111 average, high single of 192, high triple 439, high five of 701, high 10, 1301. Now, first to left. Work in the pocket, back of five. These go about 31% for Pro Bowls that would, all staff provided by Spread Eagle Productions. Mario Johnson, 1997 Rookie of the Year, 2005 won the Massachusetts State team record, was 1869, 2011 ICBA champion. Work for Spare! Oh, almost! Good try. That gosh darn 8 pit again. In addition to Mario's 2011 ICBA championship, she's a three time ladies team world title champion, four time ladies international team titles, four time mixed team world titles, and two Nico champions. And much more we'll talk about later on. It's Nate. Correction 7, 58 through 6. Thanks, Bob. Nine for Brooke Better, it's 72 through 6. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Greg Guya with us. Greg, your thoughts for the match? Just absolutely insane. The clocks have cooled down a little bit, but nonetheless, all the bowlers just stratospheric. And now, Evan Riva on a strike. Three spares and a strike to start the match. 66 plus 2 through 4 on lane 34. Just after that time, has the 1, 3, 7, and 10. Melissa Sinton, 37 to 4, pinning ball for Mark, a chance for trying. 2 4. It looks like the 3 there. Not the 9, I can't see if we have the 3 or the 9. 3 looks like. Driver at 1 7 10 lead. 2 4 and the 3. 7 fill on the strike. 7 fill on the strike, 73 through 4. Melissa goes right, it's 1. Melissa from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Just 26 years old. Evan and I. First open box, 82 half. 82. Melissa sent in 8, 45 half. I've already in 130s territory and we've only just begun. Melissa goes out of Fairlanes Lanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Bowling since 2000. Five-time AYB national winner, four times women provincial titles also. Evan Hook that gets six though. One, two, eight, nine. Two pieces of wood. Melissa, nice ball. No split. That's a six and ten. Fifty-one percent conversion rate. Melissa, three-time Canyon International winner, Fairlane's house record holder also. And just a tremendous bowler. High single game, 191, high triple 423. And just 20. Six years old. Another spare. Her first spare, actually. 55 and a ball through six. Driver, a 10. 92 through six. And if you like that bowling and want to see more, first of all, tune in all day to Bowling Your Network today and tomorrow. And of course, for even more than that, go on YouTube, Spread Eagle Productions, where we have all the bowling you could ever want. And it is a free subscription. Tim Matero, 43 through 4. Tavern Lock on the left, 37 through 4. Co host of Ripping the Rack Podcast. You're catching all the major platforms every other week. We shall be talking about this one in the next podcast. I'm going to do it Sunday night or next week sometime. <laughs> Matero, that's right. Most been left of 1, 2, 4, and 7. Calvin, nice ball. 2 1 split, 3 6 and 7. Tim Bova, 45 years out of Oakland Park Bowling Center, Rockport, Maine. That's the 2 and the 7. Married to Angie Matero over 22 years. I think it's 23 now. Three children. Plus baseball, hockey, basketball, football, and golf. He's not bowling. Likes traveling also, likes the Red Sox. It's nine. Nine for Calvin Locke. Calvin's at 46 to 5. Tim Matero, 52 half. Starting to slow down, which favors Penny Lane up by about exactly four marks by my count. Everyone's count. Tim Matero has made the, the picket fence, the 7, 8, 9, 10 with no wood. I'd love to see something like that. Back row of hints. He's thrown, he's thrown five consecutive strikes before also. He had seven strikes in a row overlapping two strings. Oh. It doesn't count overlapping. Seven, had five to end of string, and then two to start the next string. That's amazing. 
quick correction. I said it was four marks. It's two marks. I'm my mistake. Calvin Locke kills eight, maybe nine, maybe ten. Nine and a half. Tim has the five and the nine. Careful, this wood. A little tricky here. The old get over, you were hit. Hey, get us without the wood. Second mark of the string, 62 in a ball through six. Would, would surely. Kevin yeah, Locke fired up with a spare. Yes, His sorry. first mark, 56 in the ball through six. Calvin hype, so what? Let's go. Calvin shows no emotion, does he? Yeah, really <laughs> boring. Bad for the game. <laughs> Good size laugh, laugh lines on his face. I like that. Two juggernauts, the undefeated Penny Lane and the close to undefeated JD Gutters. Jim Boy got in a spare, 49 on the ball through four on the right on lane 34. Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. Mixed World Championship. Triangle. 45% success rate. 45% success rate for walls on wood. Spreading complexion stats. Godwin steals nine. There's the nine pin left up. 50 is first four. Spare nine in the first, spare three in the third. I only see one bad spare fill throughout this entire match. And you know, I can't convert. Just to the right of the object. Godwin for his third mark. Got it. 60 half plus one. Jimbo Ayot. Eight. It's fair seven game, 40, 64, now 54 half. Jimbo Ayot, 2014 15 bowler of the year. Three time New Hampshire State's AE champion. Two time mixed world championship. Has Friday night pro league title under his belt. Friday night pro league playoff title as well. And he enjoyed going to Canada his first time for the world tournament. Oh, right there! Beautiful shot! 64 plus 2 for Jimbo. AI. The anchor. Penny Lane, the undefeated team. The only one left. Calvin Marks, JD's seamless gutter balls. Only with one loss so far. Half was right, the 3 9 and the 7. Good luck in this one, Greg. Three spare, 60 half for Godwin. But yeah, yikes. 67 half now with that 7 fill. Good effort. He's the seven and the nine. Even with those, even with those oversized bowling balls, they see it all the time and they don't know what to do with it either. Aon, we're going to strike. Comes up next. Eight for Dave Godwin. Seventy-five through six. Six boxes down. Four to go. Our third match at 10 today, 6 1 tomorrow, start 9 a.m. Evan River on fire. Get the fire extinguisher out. Top of the order, Eric McWeegan. Having a good string, 76 through 6. Old Maddie Kelly. Rest of 72 through 6 so far. Spare 5 in the second. Strike 9 in the fourth. That's the 1, 2, 7, and 10. 6 to the right, 7 to the left. Eric McWeegan, can you pick it up? No, nope, try the wood. I think that would work anyway. Maddie Kelly, nice. Oh, wow! What a shot for spare! Are you serious? So one, two, seven, and ten. Eric McWeegan, a nine. 85 through seven. Maddie Kelly, 82 in a ball. Third mark of the string. One of the best female bowls in the game today. She could be in 120s territory with a good fill. Yeah, it's 119 most of the year. Try to get a sign for the women's double event September 10th. Wigan gets seven. That's the one, two, and the seven. Thrilling match here. You got to be laying the table mass. Kelly on the bonus. Seven, three, six, and ten. Oh, that would 89 through seven. She drew a 637, the women's debut money match. You can watch the Spreading Productions with Mario Johnson against Amanda Carroll and Chance Spinda. Thrilling match, close most of the match. Maddie, it's the best of wood and the worst of wood. Got a piece between the six and ten, but a tricky one behind the three. And she nails it for a spare, two in a row. Fourth mark of the string. 89 through seven, 99 of the ball through eight. High fives are teammates. Happy high fives, hope the hand isn't too sore. Got a high five, the offhand. 
All right, Bob, let's talk to Bob Lee. Bob, what's going on here with the score? See you, huh? Got 94. It's a 23 pin lead now for Penny Lane, and they have the edge in marks. They've got, a, they've got an extra strike from Jim Maya, and each team are two spares. I'm telling you, having Maddie and Evan on your team is palpably unfair. Both balls open here. Brooke hits the spread eagle. Mario Johnson, half west of the 2 8, 7 10 goal post pins. Two pieces of wood to help, possibly. Brooke grabs two. Mario Kikova looks good. Oh, what a try. So close. Great. Just making the 2 7 8 alone was impressive. Brooke Betteridge, one left. Shakes ahead, six. 78 through seven. Mario 10, 68 through seven. Mario Johnson, junior ICBA champion record holder, all events, 15-15. Mass Ladies team record holder. Favorite bowling moment came. Just a moment, it's eight, the rug, four, seven leave. Mario, just off the right is the Cleary. Winning her first ladies world title with Karen McCormick and winning her ladies internationals with her oldest daughter, Sonia, in Augusta, Maine, at the 1710 Bowling Center. Great name for bowling alley, 1710. Top break for Brooke, wouldn't go. Additional bowling, Amanda, I mean, uh, Mario Johnson loves golfing. Top break, 7 9 left up. One of the top female bowls of the game also here today, Mario Johnson. Won't go there. Eight. Brook at eight. Correction, Brook at 10, 88 through eight. Mario, the eight, 76 through eight. Update from Bob Lee. All right, well, still 25. Still an extra pair of hits for Penny, Penny Lane, if you count that strike as two. Melissa Sinton on a spare. Can't break it up, six, seven leave. Wood to help, eight in the fill, 63 half. Evan River, a spare eight, spare eight, spare strike, seven. We're in the seven. Open here, 92 through six, six, 10, and a seven. We kick that one over. Sintra kick it over, she got a nice shot for a spare. The wood helped. 73, and a ball through seven. One string match, two points for a win, one for tie. 22 teams, 21 strings over three days. In our eighth match, good try for Evan. Goal pole, 7 10, left up. Evan the Stone and Mass again, a 117 league bowler, high single of 193. Oh, pretty shot for a 10. 102 through 7. Some kind of string for him. Bowling great so far. Everyone's sound on the third ball. That's just icing on the cake. These explosive marks are probably going to be the difference in this match. Unless you want to spare. Right. One, eight, six, ten to the right, two pieces of wood. 79 to seven. Evan Riva, nice ball for strike nine. Eight pin left up, two pieces of wood. Gotta be careful. Oh boy. It's a back piece of wood he could probably play. If he plays the intersection, they might both spin away. I would go, le I would go left that wood left side. Good try by Melissa, won't go. We're talking about it. It's off camera, but Tim is pointing. Me, hey, Jimbo, Matty, all giving it a look. Could go more to the right too, which he does. He got it. He got it. 112 in the ball through eight for Evan River. Melissa Sinton an eight, make that nine rather. Evan's 88 through eight. Evan's already had a 140 string with a big fill. He could do it again. Tim Mateo, Calvin Lock, both on spares. Calvin 56 through six on the right for JD Seamless Gutter Balls. Tim Mateo for Penny Lane undefeated. The only team left. 62 in the ball on lane 33. Great match, Bob here. 12 pin lead now for Penny Lane. Yeah, but, but look at look at the marks. Four to up one. There are four four marks on the penalty. Four spares to one in their favor also. Calvin needs to deliver here. He's the object coming, only five. Oh, he got in the pocket and didn't get the carry. 61 through six. 
The wood is totally flat as well. Butero on the bonus. Right in the pocket. Seven, eight, nine. Kingpin left up a five. 71 through six. Calvin's open. Tim's thrown 17 to 18 marks in a row, overlapping strings in the past. Gales it for a spare. 81 on the ball through seven. Calvin Lock at nine, 70 through seven. Tim has the means to take record high three of 502, tied with Herbie Myers at Stars and Strikes in South Paris, Maine. Has a doubles record 2780 with Mark Smith at the old Colonial Bowling Center in Westbrook, Maine. Calvin Locke gets nine, seven pin left up. Tear on the bonus again. Strike! Oh, he's all fired up! Does the uh, macho shot there. Everybody on Penny Lane gets to their feet. Spare for Calvin Locke, eating the ball through eight. Tim Matero, 91 through seven. 101 plus two through eight. Penny Lane trying to keep the undefeated streak alive. J.D. Seamus got a ball, only one loss so far. Podcasting pair pushing each other, a spare could be more than a strike if the Phils break one way or the other. Oh, I can't wait to listen to the next podcast. It, uh... Once again, that's Ripping the Rack podcast on YouTube and on every podcast distribution channel conceivable. Dave Gottman on lane 34, the right-hander, 75 through 6 open for a strike. Nine. He's getting some marks here. Jimbo A off Penny Lane working a strike. 64 plus 2 bounces it left. It steals 8. That's the 1 and the 10. Scratching his head. He washed out and he got a big break. Like I said, anyway they fall. Jimbo A, a 119 league bowler. Godwin for a spare. Got it. Much needed. Uses the wood as a guide. 85 in the ball through seven. Ayotte missed it left. Eight in the strike though. 72 through six. Jimbo had a 10, 82 through 8. Dave Gottman working their spare, 85 in the ball for 9. He's a big fill here. A strike would help. Look good, but these are the 7-9, 8 in the fill, 93 through 7. Jimbo, just a 3 pin left up. Godwin, I think, was trying to pull a fishing string on that. I couldn't tell what that was. Got to use this wood. Godwin has had spares in all the odd numbered frames. Try to kick it over. Good try. He got it. Big spare. Five. For JD Gutters. Eight, eight Godwin. Boxes. 103 and a ball through eight. A I got it. Magic spare. 93 to the ball. Through eight. The under, only undefeated team trying to keep it that way. Top of the order. Two boxes to go. Now third match of 10 today. This is the Mixed World Championship from Academy Lane Table and Mass. Check out the brand new bar and restaurant. Basically one string to play. Two, two boxes from each and it's a 27 pin lead for Benny Lane. And they have the advantage, uh, four marks to two. Manny One Kelly on a spear right now. And the pin time! Oh, Three pin left up. 108 through eight. Eric McWeegan, 94 through eight, open against the Cleary. Yeah, he looks away and gets it. But Larry Bird looked there, knew she had it right away. McWeegan for a spare, missed the head pin. Maddie Kelly, 118 through 9. Nine box. 103 through 9. At least two balls. 
74 people on hand on Facebook Live and doubtless hundreds more on Spreading the Productions after. Please subscribe for free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions while you're there. Please help us out. Support the game of Caleb from Bowling. Patty Kelly, six in the span, 124 to nine. McGuigan's striking the 10. They still have life. 113 plus two. McGuigan's been solid all string long and a big strike for punctuator. Kelly, oh, what a try. Thought she had it. Jumping up and down, that looks so good. Momentum on her side. The eight pin bends for nobody, not even the best. An outstanding bowler for a high level. 134. Aaron Miller on a 132 last string. 134 from Eddie Kelly. High five of your team. The table set up a Penny Lane. Mario Johnson up next with first. Eric McGuigan on a strike for JD Seamless Gutter Balls. He's a double. Looks good. Eight. That's the eight and nine. Boy, what was wrong with that? Ball? Piece of wood. No. For a spare. Oh. But nine Nine fill. 122. Eric McGuigan. All right, Bob Lee, updating the scores and the marks. All right, just, just now it's still 34 and uh, one ball for Penny Lang. So it's weird. We've got eight, three eight boxes to go. Three to two mark advantage also, right? Yep. That's a ball. Mario Johnson, 76 to eight is open, filled in the third box for Sonya Rossi. Work 88 three is open on lane 33, gets five. One, two, four, six, and 10. Meyer right, trying to kick it over. Looks good. Oh! Right the seven. Flew pick. over the seven. Couldn't come down for a landing. Good try. Work is open. One, six, and ten. Two great teams, back to back championship winners. In 2019, it was Calvin Locke's team. They haven't bowled here the last two years. Penny Lane won it last year. Mario Johnson, 10, 86 to 9. Brooke a 7, 95 to 9. Three pin difference, those little bits could add up. JD didn't want that. They needed that, those marks. They needed to stay in it. Mario goes left, has the post. Brooke could use a mark here. She has the opposite post. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mario grabs three. He's at the one to seven. That's it. Brooke, good try. He's at the two, four, piece of wood on the ten on the right. Mario at eight. 94, combination her and Sonia Rossi. Ooh, Nine really for 104, string. Six boxes to go in a third of 10 matches today, all separate broadcasts. Mixed World Championship, Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. Check out the new restaurant and bar. Bob Lee, update. All right, well, it's 36 pins, and time's running out. How many, how many marks should that be? You know, it, they're really gonna have to mark out uh, JD Gutters. It, it's starting to approach the miracle zone. And ready or not, here's Evan. 112 and a ball through eight. Crush! Eight has the six right, seven left, one to help. 120 through eight. Melissa Sinton, 88 through eight open on lane, 20, lane 33, gets four. I don't know how Evan's going to make this win work. This is ridiculous. Both of them horizontal. Try to kick it over. Oh, yeah. Good try. Oh, the ball, just by the, the seven. Ball ski by. ball shot. Got a 30 score on that one. The ski ball machine. Bob saw it. That ball shot behind the seven pin. Not missing really by that much. Usually it's a 50 shot in ski ball and it misses. Evan made a 7 10 for a 10 box. Evan a 10. 130 through 9. Melissa Sinton at 7. 95 through 9. Time running out. For JD Seamless Gutter Balls, could be the second loss only. Penny Lane trying to be the only undefeated team left. Try to go 8 0. No, that's why I'm 
driver. Trying to hit 140 or better. That's right, only three. Melissa, only three. Same thing. 47 pin lead, Penny Lane looking good. Punch out two. So Bragging Rights for the Rack Podcast, Tim Matera is the edge. They won the last championship in the Mixed Worlds. J.D. Gutters, their old different team name, won in 2019, the last time they appeared in the Mixed Worlds. Evan Lee. Eight from Melissa. Evan River, 138. Had four marks to start. Had 73 through 4, 82 half, a 138. Melissa sent in an 8, 103. Four boxes to go. And worthy the beat his fiance. Oh, just. <laughs> just there. Gavin Locke. He's a miracle. Got a spare. Beating the ball through eight. Tim Matero going to strike on the right. Lane 34. 101 plus two on the strike. That's just close to the side. Just how high do they go? 3 1 split. 3 6 10 on the right. 4 to the left. One piece of wood. Lock on the bonus. Nice ball. 8 as a 6 and 7. 88 through 8. Tim Matero, nine pro tour stop victories. Only Al Joy must really see have more men's pro tour, pro tour stop wins. Eight in the strike. Calvin won't go. Good try. Tim at 109 through eight. And they're going to go undefeated after eight. Go eight and oh. Matero at nine. 118 through nine. Calvin Locke, 97 through nine. Tim Matero trying to fish up big here. So coming next is oh, wait, 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 wait. Team 9 and Team 5 coming up next. So next match we're going to have bottom shelf against PC Enterprises. Seen them for the first time. We're going to sign up after this match. Come back for our fourth or ten broadcasts. Rebroadcast later on tonight or tomorrow on Spread Eagle Productions. Materials open. Calvin missed the opportunity. Again, catch their podcast, Ripping the Rack podcast. And don't forget the other podcast, Candlefin Corner and the Approach podcast with Danny Finn and Jeremy Sino. Or at least and Jordan Britton, Candlefin Corner podcast. Nine for Tim Material, 127. Calvin Lock at 8, 105. So Tim wins the battle of the. Uh Podcast, the podcast, the rip it, the battle of the rack. Stay tuned for more great bowling. It's a marathon all day today, just about all day Sunday. Don't forget to like Bowling Nerd Network on Facebook and or follow it so that you get notified because we're going to end the stream after the post-game interview, but then have another stream right after this. So please like and follow the page so you get notified. Subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. Don't forget your WOW shirts here at Academy Lanes. AI Drills 9. On the spare, 101 through 8. Dave Gobb on the spare, 103 in a ball, 7. 110 through 8. Bowlers are starting to hug, they know it. Penny Lane is crossed 600. Gobb on a spare, 120 in the ball through 9. Jimbo at 10, 111 through 9. So they'll go 8 0, the only undefeated team out of 21 strings. Commiserations to Dave Godwin, who rolled a huge string of his own. Penny Lynn, the defending champs, trying to make it two in a row. Calvin Locks still have to regroup. They'll drop to 6 and 2. They won it last in 2019, their first appearance since then. So they both claim they both claim in the Ripley Rack podcast, they're both defending champions. One oh 
11 to 9 for Jimbo. Open there. Godwin eight in the field, 128 through 9. Another spare. 138 in the ball. In a losing effort. 9 for Jimbo A, a 120 string. 130, correction, 120. The right. Yes, 128. 128. 128. 128. 128. 128. The ball is correct. You can look at the scoreboard we have. I keep looking at the scoreboard up there on the yeah, screen. Except, except then you always comment about it being out of Penny Lane. Undefeated. Godwin 5. 143. And Penny Lane goes to 8 0. JD Gutters drops to 6 and 2. Paul Grant along with Greg Guya and Bob Lee back in a few minutes for our fourth of ten. Again, subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions for Great Candlepin Bowling. So long for now. Final score, Penny Lane, defending champions, 6-13. And last time they aired, 2019 champions, JD's Gutters, seamless gutter balls, 5-77. See you in a few minutes. Thank you for watching.